Ah, salut everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 World of Darkness. We are starting another Let's Play of Nations that no one else wants to play as, and we won't find out why none of those other nations no one else wants to play as. So guys, today's nation of choice is Ethiopia, 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 oh Ethiopia. I don't know why I just did that, but I think it was cool. <laughs> okay, anyways, um... We are doing a another let's play and just let's run down the logistics again. So budget wise, we have maximum budget, maximum tariffs. Uh, we don't really need militaristic spending for a little bit. We need to get to right here. Uh, militaristic spending, not really much. And then yeah, we can keep that out there. Okay, policies wise, we are going to be trying to go for imported weapons as quickly as possible. That way we can get you know, actual good soldiers instead of these really stupid, um, irregulars. Don't even know why we even have them in our land because they're just so bad. I'd rather have people with, um, people with spears and knives than these guys. These guys just stink. Alright, having a little bit of lag here, a little bit of lag trouble, a little bit of lag trouble. Let me just restart the computer for a second. Okay. Seems lag trouble went away, which is always the main thing with fraps, is that when you're getting some type of lag or frame rate, you usually, all you have to do is just restart and you usually have your, usually it works better at that same time. So let's see, uh, pulse, pulse 6 wise, I think there's one more thing I missed in Pulse 6 because there's a special event that we will get, which is called the Najet, uh, Negusa Nagast. I probably butchered that pretty hard, but I don't really, I'm really sorry for people that live in Ethiopia that have to listen to this, but, um, basically this event will give us cores on a little bit of Egypt, so that will be pretty cool once we get a little bit of cores on Egypt, and in our terms of our population wise, population wise we are mostly made up of farming, agricultural areas, we do, we're mainly Coptic people with a little bit Amy animalist in us and a little bit of Sunni, a little bit of Sunni, just a little bit and most of our culture is Omo and Ahia which is really good because that means we have, they're both our accepted cultures so it's really good that they are most of our population. Alright, and national focus wise we will put it into uh, education because we want to make sure we can get our people well educated for the coming wars and the coming ties that are going to be coming soon because we're all coming everyone, we're all coming. Actually, yeah, we want to make sure we do that. Okay, diplomacy-wise, we're basically not going to be doing anything diplomacy-wise, because I don't really want alliance with any of these guys. <laughs> the two beneath me. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> and I don't really... Yeah, I don't really mean that in real life, but in this let's play, I'm kind of role-playing. Then they are just two beneath my Ethiopian masterpiece of an empire. So, anyways, um... Yeah. Little, little bit... Little bit of, like... I guess pigheadedness right now I'm doing, but I really don't care. So anyways, in terms of militaristic wise, I'm going to instantly make two cavalry men. That way my army is slightly better so I can have some cavalry in here. And yeah, we should be good. We should be good. So anyways, guys, I will skip ahead to 1840, where we will be doing something. I don't know what, but we will be doing something. So guys, look forward to that. My first time skip right now. That is not good. I wasn't even planning on doing anything, and this is what happened, so... I'm, I'm hoping they don't use it, because I seriously am not ready to fight them yet, so... I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit again, because I have to... We're going to skip to see what happens. Okay, guys, so basically what happened with this whole e Egypt threat here to the north of us is basically, uh... Uh, they didn't attack us because... Um, when they were supposed to attack me, basically what happened was that the Ottomans came out and did, it, and did an attack on them. So, right now the Ottomans are fighting for the area of, um, Akira and Adia, which is right here. So, ha <laughs> ha! It stinks to be you, Egypt! It stinks to be you! And, I, personally guys, I really don't want to get into a conflict with, e with the Egyptians yet. Um, partly because I want to wait until I actually get my core event to where I can actually get my cores. And partly I want to wait until I'm on even playing field with them right now because I need to get foreign weapons immediately because for some reason, instead of the, e e instead of, um, the Ethiopians who should start out with imported weapons, may I add, um, 
the Egyptians, I mean, uh, the Egyptians start out with both imported weapons and foreign training methods. So they instantly have like two technologies ahead of us, and they have like the best one here, which means that they can build like really actual good troops. Because right now, all we have is darn irregulars. Puh! I feel like spitting on them, they're just so bad. Um, but yeah, they really just. They're really just terrible, just terrible troops. You should never have them in your army at all, even if you are in a stupid event. Even China, I would say even if you're China, never have irregulars in your army. You can just make a massive force of just regular troops, and that's enough. But these guys, these guys are just terrible. So, anyways, guys, I don't want to fight the Egyptian menace if they're going to be that powerful. It's just not going to work. I already realized it's not going to work. So, yeah, I'm hoping that we'll come to that. So, anyways, guys, um... I've also, one of my cavalry men have finished, so that's a good sign, so, um, yeah. If anything else happens between here and 1840, I'll bring you guys back in, but if not, I'll see you guys in 1840. Time skip. Okay, guys, we are in 1840, and absolutely nothing happened, so let's go to 1845. Okay, guys, we are back here in this Let's Play of Awesomeness, where I was going to say at 1845, there's nothing that's happened, but... The Ottomans have declared war on Egypt again, and now I'm going to take my opportunity to exact my revenge on the, e on the Egyptians for declaring war on me. Or, not really declaring war on me, about to declare war on me. They were listening to that old prospector's voice. Oh, that evil prospector. His, his rants about, about the people that are coming for them are just so powerful that almost every nation has to listen. But, we're going to take our revenge, and I'm going to get humiliate Kazbeli against them. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if I can get the five extra points that I need, then basically what I'll do is I'll enact this, and in another five years I'll be able to declare war on Ethiopia and base, I mean not Ethiopia, Egypt, man that is really hard, Ethiopia and Egypt, just like right next to each other, ugh, hard to tell, hard to tell my brain sometimes, but yeah. Egypt, I'll have cores on Egypt, that way next war we can do some actual conquest, so, yeah, and I also have a foreign event, by the time this, this war will finish, I think I'll have imported weapons, which will be nice, so, yeah, guys, I'll bring you guys back when I have the weapons and everything, so, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, for some reason, I don't get to do a humiliate Kazbela against Egypt, I think it might be because, um, they have absolutely no power, but... I'm not sure, so... Yeah, that, that kind of stunk, but I guess as a substitute, I guess I'll do a Humiliate Kazus Belai against, um... Oman. Because Oman is not as... I just got an alliance with Najed, I should say that right now. So what I'll do is I'll just go to war with Oman. And since they already hate us, it won't really matter. Actually, I could do a Conquest. Evil thoughts, everyone. Evil thoughts. I mean, it wouldn't really help me in the long run, really. It's just... I mean, are they... Wait, let me check about the standings with great powers. Okay, so they aren't really allied with any great powers, and it wouldn't really affect me that much. Could I get this, though, without getting too much infamy? Hmm. That's a real question, isn't it? It's, can I get this without getting too much infamy? But, you know what? I'll go for it. Why not? I haven't really been doing anything, you know, without giving me the prestige I need to gain what I need so guys um, I'll see you guys back when I gain the event that says how much infamy I gain so you guys can see so see you guys in a bit literally off the one turn I get off it gets me to infamy why does this game hate me so much all right I'll see you guys I'll see you guys in a second when I go to war against Oman which will probably now be against by myself because I don't think the jet will join in so see you guys in a bit okay guys so I got imported weapons and I got my cousin Bella against Oman let's see if our friends probably not if I'm guessing, they will probably not join in. Very unlikely, yep. Treacherous. Yep. <sighs> I knew that was coming because my infamy became too high, so I'm just going to basically have to fight this war by myself. Go start sending my troops over there. Um, I highly doubt they're going to go send an invasion force against me. Um, and we're probably going to lose a lot of our men doing this fight because I forgot to do this. And let's do this, because now I'm actually supporting my men, so let's actually support our men. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back when the war ends, and you guys will find out what happens. So, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. It took me eight years huh, to beat to beat the Omanians. And it wasn't because I was bad or anything, it was because 
basically it took a while to like seeds through all this stuff and then I had to like wait a long time to get like military access with Yemen and then I had to wait a little bit because you know what I decided hey I want to get foreign training methods so I could get the utmost maximum amount of research points out of this so this was like a whole big ordeal and now I'm having the options of extending slavery which I don't want to do don't want to do don't want to do don't want to do because slavery would not help me in any point so and we're actually just gonna go to war again but you guys thinking what why well right now actually should I well, what I was thinking guys is that basically the the uh, Egyptians are weak right now but you know and it would be nice to go take some more land from them but so are we we're kind of like really really weak right now so and I should also mention that westernization has happened so I'm gonna have much more research points which is awesome but oh man that was a tough war so yeah I'm basically this is gonna be my this is the army of the Emperor which I didn't know that was the name that was pretty awesome when I figured out that's the army of the Emperor I think that's our Emperor I'm not entirely sure but I think that's our Emperor it's either this guy cuz I yeah I think no this guy's the actual Emperor I think he's the actual Empire Emperor of our land and that's pretty cool so I'm gonna move him back to the capital and what I'll probably do is I'm gonna probably make like a small division of troops like like one soldier to go guard and board our Omanian provinces so I'm gonna bring you guys back when something of interest happens probably in 1855 actually I'll bring you guys back in 1855 and we'll see what happens and actually I'll take just so you guys know we're gonna take a quick look around the world um, you guys get to decipher what you guys deem important or what is unimportant alright taking that quick look around I'm gonna now skip skip to another era of 1855 so see you guys then never mind I am not skipping ahead to where I was about to say because I just got an alliance with the Jed and with the help of the Jed and both me we should be able to take on the Egyptian threat no problem so yeah let's do this so let's see you guys gonna actually join it really really the Jed whatever you would twice you twice betrayed me so I wouldn't be surprised if you oh yes Okay, never mind. The Jed is on my personal nice list from now on. They are not going to be destroyed or anything. I'm not going to, like, have a grudge on them. Because you would not want a grudge against me, the Jed. My grudges transcend games. Seriously. I will... I seriously, like... This is a little bit of spoilers if it does come out. But I hate... Like, in my uh, Indian Let's Play, I am having a war against Burma. I basically went to war because I hated the fact that they destroyed me in my Siamese Let's Play. I know I'm gonna say in my let's play that it's because of some other reason, but that's a real reason. I hated I hated Burma for destroying me, so I took revenge in a different let's play, which isn't exactly fair because it I, I guess it's technically two different nations or two different people, but who cares? They got, got revenge, so yeah, it, that isn't also a good thing. Never take revenge, people. It's a very bad cycle of vengeance and hatefulness and honor, yada yada yada. Let's go get more revenge. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Let's get more revenge, okay? They're sending all the troops down to me, um, it seems like these guys are doing what? They're sending the troops all the way down to my land. Don't know if that's a smart decision, um, yeah, that's, I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'll cut the video right here so you guys will skip to the head. Skip to the end of the episode, or not end of the episode, end of the war. There we go. Okay, guys, we just got our official peace treaty from the Egyptians which only took this time two years so you know I'm getting slightly better at this whole conquest thing so uh peace love and soul yay and now we got a new region yay and now we can extend slavery no okay so yeah my now my lands right over here and yeah look at that look at all like Ethiopian land now we I think our next target should honestly be Yemen that way we can have a good like clear route to our places and also then our allies Najed can actually go through my land so that they don't have to go all the way around through very hostile and deserty places so it might be a little bit easier for that but yeah um we're doing really awesome and also during the war I also did a smart thing which was I got advanced constructions that way I have like a 75% more bonus to what I have 
in terms of research points so we're doing like great now just great so I'm really loving this and I think I'll skip to 1860 no that's a little bit too much time 18 nah, no no I have to go to I'll go to 1855 that's a good enough skip so see you guys then time skip okay guys so we have an unexpected turn of events they want some the Spanish want some type of land I'm gonna see what they want so I can decide if it's worth anything really okay fine you can have it Spain but you guys are thinking wait what why well I'm not gonna win this just I'll be honest with myself here in saying that the Spanish have a way bigger military than me hmm. Let's see who they call in first. Oh, of course, I kind of... Oh, Hernandez, you guys stuck with me, so maybe I have a chance. Alright, we're going to fight... We're going to figure out if we can fight this. I'm not sure if we can, but... If we are serious about going to be fighting the, uh... Um... People with guns. Uh... European, um... Spanish! Yes, the Spanish. If we're going to be fighting the Spanish, then we're going to need to quickly gain a lot of stuff because this is not going to be the easiest battle ever. But the good thing about this whole entire thing is that as long as I make sure they do not take any land, I'll be fine. And since they have no, like, colonies right next to me, like, legitly they have no colonies except for over here, but and a little bit over here, but they really have no colonies right next to me, I can just, like, wait out. Just have to wait them out and just hopefully my army will be big enough to fight against them. That's the only thing I'm hoping right now. Because if they send like a 23 death stack, I'm just going to be like, yeah, we're done for. But if we can just last long enough because of, you know, reasons, then we'll be fine. Now, sadly, my empire is kind of spread out right now because of our recent conquest of Oman. So, you know, that doesn't help us very much, but... Mm-hmm. I'm not really going to be supporting my military for a little bit because I don't really see much point. Yeah, this is going to be a tough battle, I gotta admit that. I was, I'm was, i not going to quite quit though. And there's Lake Victoria, the start of the Nile River. So yeah, this is where the Nile River all starts. Huh, that's pretty cool, but anyways, yeah, I'm not going to give up. Not quite yet. I'm not, I'm not going to concede to those European ideals. I'm not going to let the Europeans pick on me like I'm just a little pathetic nation. But I'm really worried. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna give you guys any false pretense. I'm really worried. But I will cut the video now. This is probably pretty exciting for you guys to watch me try to take on Spain. But I'll cut the video right now and I'll come back to you guys when I actually have the war has ended and we'll figure out who won the who was the victor. Was it me or was it the Spanish? Or maybe no one is a victor. Maybe I don't ever do anything again. But we'll see. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. Um. Yeah, I don't know what's happening now. It seems like all the Europeans are starting to gain up on me, which is not cool at all, but uh, I'm going to see what... Please tell me they don't want. What do they want? Oh, Ethiopian Zanzibar? You guys... You know what, Portugal? You can have it. That's not even that important to me. Seriously. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not fighting them, they have a gigantic death stack of about 24,000 right there on the borders. No point in fighting Portugal. No fault in fighting the, fighting the Portuguese. But on the other hand, fighting the Spanish have been one of the easiest things in the world because the Spanish haven't sent in any army after me. Like, literally, people, I have seen no army come after me to try to fight me. No ships, no blockades, no um, nukes, no nothing. I'm just, like, sitting here, like, thinking, okay, so it's either that the sailors are just as bad as my Irish sailors in my Irish campaign, which it means that they always die before they get here or they really just don't care and are doing this war to just do a war which is kinda annoying for me because I actually want to get out of this war as soon as possible but they obviously are too stubborn to do anything and I'm gonna have to be waiting here for a very very long time so yeah that kinda stinks so I guess guys I'll see you guys um, in a little bit maybe something else will happen of interest but yeah, I'll skip to the end of this war, because this war is going to be very long, so, see you guys then. Okay, guys, it is 1860, and I've had enough. 
the, the Spanish are obviously not going to give up, which is kind of stupid because, you know, they aren't, they haven't sent any men, they haven't sent anything to try to come after me. They I, Are they trying to think that I'll just randomly click the button and give up? No, I would never do that. <laughs> anyway, so what I did is I built my own entire fleet, and I'm just going to go send my men to go on a suicide mission over here. I know my men won't make it back. I don't really care. I guess it's the simple way of putting it. I really don't care. This war has gone on way too long. And we actually can't get any more infamy for just sitting around on our butts doing nothing because look, we maxed it out. So, yeah, we have to we have to go do something, otherwise this war is never gonna end. Because the Spanish are too stubborn people to actually give up, so. What I'm hoping guys is that maybe just one invasion, just one one measly, easily invasion will be all it takes for me to wrap up this whole entire war. I'm hoping. I'm seriously hoping. Because I really don't want to fight this anymore. Ugh, I mean, it's not even like... Ugh, it's not even like fun. It's just like, oh yeah, we're, we're trying to kick you guys' butt, but we're not really doing anything. Such an effective strategy, may I add. Ugh, I mean, seriously, I would love to be at peace right now. Because then I would love... Because then I would prepare for war against Yemen so I could conquer them and complete my kind of like cool empire I'm trying to build like in the corner over here so and if they attack me with any Spanish ships do I care? no because maybe that will make them um, uh, I don't know we just well I'm not gonna particularly like I'm just at the point guys I just want this to end that's that's all I'm basically saying I'm just at the point right now I want this to end so I'm going to move my troops into over here I'm just gonna have to wait till I conquer this because I have no allies next to me Hopefully they won't vanish, like the sailors of my own Irish campaign did. That was kind of shocking that they just upright and vanished. We're finally conquering a little bit of Spain. I'd be also pretty mad if they started conquering my own homeland while I'm gone, but... Seems like that's not the case, which is a good sign that I am more powerful. Um, Spain's still not doing any retaliation to any of these attacks, which is kind of funny. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna... Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep island hopping until they finally give up. Or at least until they finally just send in some troops so we can battle and then give up. Seriously, I mean... What, what, like, what is the benefit of being at war with me right now? Like, you're not gaining anything, you're not going to lose anything. I mean, in all honesty, you're just wasting your resources on a nation that obviously knows how to defend itself. And obviously has a great general and a great commander behind it, so... And they all died. My entire fleet just died. Okay, build fleet number two. Kind of was expecting that, so I wasn't like... Huh? Okay, that was weird. I couldn't, like, click for a second. Couldn't, like, click on the clippers for a second. Okay, two... Three... Four... Five... And a six. Alright. This def this defender's occupation should give me a major bonus. Probably these guys are probably gonna stay there for like a couple days too. Cause I can't really move them anywhere. Cause they're like right in the center of everything, and I can't really do anything. You know, I might even I might even add a war goal just to conquer that little tiny island right here, just to get the stupid Spanish a little bit more war goal and to teach them that maybe they should stop being bullies to me. Cause I'm not. Seriously, I'm not that bad of a nation. Seriously. And the Netherlands have moved up! Yay! The Netherlands are a great power in this Let's Play. Yay! Uh, Alright, I'll finish. See you guys. I'll basically skip ahead, guys. See you guys in a little bit. Finally! Thank goodness! Oh my goodness, that took seven years of my life away. Oh. Man. Ugh. Oh because I could not give up. Well, if you guys are wondering, we did take the island and we were just about to go take Puerto Rico. You know, be the first be the first African nation to ever take um, the Caribbean. But that sadly does not happen, so we're going to have to send these guys all the way back home. But we did it! Yes! I defended my homeland like the actual Ethiopians did in, um, in 1880 when they defeated those blasted Italians and protected their homeland. Wow. So, right now, um, we have a lot of new things. I'm going to be getting uh, education reform, because education reform is always great. 
And we only have about a couple more technologies left before we industrialize, so I'm just going to skip a lot of this part and just go straight to industrialization. So see you guys then. Well, guys, um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to end this Let's Play now. And I'm basically going to do my review now. And I bet you guys are thinking, why, James? Why? Well, if you guys are really observant, you guys will notice that this little lines right here going across Ethiopia and well yeah when that many rebels spawn you know it's time to end the let's play so it's review time and this time I'm gonna make it much quicker than last time so in my job of making YouTube I am or making a series I am here to present you guys with questions and answers and mostly answers because questions would give me would give me too much of a headache and basically the question is is this a good series for YouTube alright and in that question that encompasses a couple things like can you civilize can you become an industrial power can you become a great power um, is it fun and how wage inducing is it okay let me start with the first one can you become a great power now in my experience, I would usually say that, in most of my experience, I would say that it's usually possible. And in guarantee, yes, it's very possible to become a great power with Ethiopia. Ethiopia. <laughs> I say Ethiopia, everyone. Ethiopia. Um, no, Ethiopia. Um, but, in all honesty, I don't think so. Ethiopia is just never going to have that. It's, first of all, we are never going to have the resources necessary to become a great power, like, you're gonna need coal, you're gonna need iron, you're gonna need all that kind of stuff, and you honestly will not have that, and your population will never be great enough to do any of that. I mean, even if you conquer a lot of Egypt, you're never gonna have enough for, for you know, yourself, so... It kinda stinks, but that's just kind of, that's just kind of what's gonna happen. So to become a great power, you'll never have that, and, you know... You can civilize. Uh, going to the next question is, can you civilize, though? Yes, you can civilize. I could definitely see you civilizing as Ethiopia. It would probably take... If I didn't have these massive rebellion problems and all these massive um, wars I went in, which weren't even my fault. I mean, Spain. What, what were you thinking, Spain? What were you thinking? I'm Ethiopia. You don't try to fight me. I, dis I will destroy you. Okay? Never again. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, um... You can civilize. If I did not have all these wars, I probably would have been done around like 1875, 1876. So you could probably the earliest you could probably civilize is 1865, which you know is pretty cool and all. And you could probably get some land over here in Africa if you're really, really good and thrifty and quick. You could probably get a lot of land in Africa, but the problem is, is that you just will not have the population to do much. But I don't know. You know what? Actually, I'm going to keep a question mark. I'm going to keep this one open to you guys because I feel like if I did not have as many wars and many complications that I did, and especially this rebellion, then I think I probably could have, like, actually become a great power, but, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. This one's really ambiguous. I can't really tell if you could become a great power or not, so I'll leave that to you guys. This is actually the first time I'll leave it to you guys if you can become a great power or not. But now let's talk about is this fun or not. This is a fun let's play. <laughs> flat out, I'll flat out say it. This is very fun. I had a lots and lots of fun playing as Ethiopia. I mean, you know, I to be honest with you, this was actually I consider on par with my um with Najed because I saw a lot of opportunities to do a lot of stuff. I mean, conquering Oman, you know, conquering Yemen, conquering all those things. After I realized after a couple years I could not get Egypt. I mean, you just have to wait. That's the only thing is you just have. It's a little bit of a waiting game, but once you get that waiting game over with, it's really quite a lot of fun. So, funness, I'll give it like a seven out of ten. This was pretty fun. I, like, I enjoyed. I enjoyed being Ethiopia and trying to relive, you know, some of its historic moments, like his his emperor. Like, oh, I should also mention that his emperor. I was so shocked when I found out the name of our army was the emperor was the emperor's army. That is a cool name for an army. Like. Why do we not have more armies like that named over here, like the, like the Royal National Guard or <laughs> the National Guard, everyone, the National Guard or you know the Legionnaires, the Legionnaires, Le Legion, 
Les Legion Les Legionnaires. There we go. Um, why do we not have more of those guys in like different places? Um, I'm recording. I'm almost done. Um, basically, yeah. I just, you know, I see all these potentials and, yeah, I can see how it's fun and rage inducing, not very rage inducing. I had so much fun with this Let's Play. It was like a 4, it was about average, it was about 4 out of 10, which is a good, a good rage inducing and a good Let's Play is about 4 out of 10. So, this was honestly quite fun and I quite enjoyed it. So, yeah, final score, so can this, so final question is, can this be played on YouTube? Yes. I could see this being a good Let's Play for YouTube. Um, will it be a high amount of view one? Actually, I think it could be because this is a new this is a Let's Play no one else has really done on YouTube. No one else has really attempted on YouTube, and there'd be lots of interesting moments with you just you know doing stuff. Now there would be also a lot of low moments because you know you're uncivilized power and you're doing stuff. But you know, I honestly think this would be a fun. Let's play. So, there you guys, there you guys go. This is out of the six that, nah, out of the six, so far at this time, out of the seven Let's Plays I've done, a mini Let's Plays, there's only been two that have been, I've actually said this would be fun for YouTube, and this is one of them, so, give it a round of applause, guys. This was a really fun Let's Play, and now it's time for you guys, for you guys to um, basically come back to me and say what lit nation do you want to play as next and don't forget to vote seriously I need you guys to vote every single episode it may not seem like much but I need you guys to vote okay so please vote for the next nation I'm not gonna put any restrictions on this one so vote for any nation you want me to play as and the highest vote wins so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time